we are reading a bunch of Reddit stories that were submitted by Smosh crew members. These are all people I know <laughs> uh, submitting Reddit stories. They're gonna be anonymous. Some of them will be, maybe some of them won't. Um, and uh, join, joining me to, to be along for this ride are Arasha and Angela. Hello. Hey. Uh, this is a true off my chest. From someone in the office. From someone we know okay. who, who works here at Smosh. Okay. I was the one who farted at the Smosh Christmas show, and I let Damien take the fall for it. <laughs> So, so last year, uh, uh, roughly a year ago, we had our, our live show, uh, our Christmas live show, and in the dressing room before we went out on stage, someone farted and it was truly horrendous. Oh, it was, so it bad. was actually so bad that people like left the room. We were leaving. Yes. And there were donuts in the room and we stopped okay. eating the donuts. So, because we had Chipotle. So, so let's hear from them. Let's hear from them. We Wait. never figured it out. Oh my God. I promised to wait two years until I told anyone this, but I really need to get it off my chest. I was the one who did the awful fart that cleared an entire green room before the Smosh Christmas show. It's Courtney, it's gotta be Courtney. In my defense, it was a very stressful time and lunch that day was catered by Chipotle. We were live on socials and I felt it slip out. <laughs> I slowly watched every person clear out of the room in utter disgust. I thought it would all blow over, but it was an absolute witch hunt. A witch hunt that ultimately targeted Damien as the culprit. This would have been the time to fess up, but I couldn't do it. I had a lot of responsibility that day, and I didn't want to lose credibility by being the fart guy. So I stayed silent. I figured everyone would forget the whole thing once the show started. Then, during Try Not To Laugh, Shane publicly called out Damien for the fart. It was a waking nightmare. I knew Damien was done for when Keith gave him the nickname Loose Booty, which had a lot of play on Twitter. Which had a lot of play on Twitter! <laughs> After the show, after the show, I told Damien it was me who farted, and I would be willing to clear his name. He said there's a chance it was him that did it. But I know it wasn't. It was definitely me. He was just trying to make me feel better. Damien. Damien. The best guy. Taking a fart for someone I is know. huge. I know. I remember that. <laughs> uh, update. To this day, I've only told Patrick and a very select few people on my last day at Smosh, but I want to publicly admit it was me. <gasps> Jeremy Robert Elder. <gasps> no! What? <laughs> you were saying before we started filming, you were like, yeah, it was Tommy. I thought it was Tommy. You were just spreading lies. I'm spreading rumors on accident. You're a big old liar over here. I'm Wait, deeply- Okay, okay, uh, okay. Jeremy? I'm deeply sorry for all the hurt that I have caused. <laughs> <laughs> I will be making a small charitable donation in Damien's name to atone for what I have done. No. Uh, Imagining Jeremy and Damien having this conversation and Jeremy being like, hey man, I'm really sorry about that. And Damien's yeah. like, no, it's okay, I think I did fart. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I am so mind blown. I just never thought I was ever gonna get an answer about who farted. I and know. To actually have received that today is not something I, that was gonna so happen. So I believe months ago, Jeremy told me but I, I, I wasn't, like it was so long ago that I couldn't remember. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. There must have been another fart that Tommy atoned for. Because, Probably. Oh, you know you know what, that was at VidCon. Do you remember he at farted. VidCon okay, when he was that like, must have been oh. or he took a shit or something. He got on stage and was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the culprit for that. Yeah. I think that was at VidCon, but I distinctly remember, you are right, like I think mm. it's on video somewhere where like, yeah, somebody farted and, and everyone was like, Oh, clear the area! And literally everybody like wiped out of the green room. Uh, uh oh! Uh, okay, uh, what? Uh, uh, oh, okay. shit! I, I what are you back. talking okay, about? I had you back. <laughs> no, I had you back. Did you say you farted bad sometime? Got it. What's up? <laughs> Did you say that? No, no. no. I genuinely <laughs> sorry. Guys, the I, drama is heating up here. At VidCon, at VidCon Tommy pooped. Tommy probably just came in to fart and then leave. <laughs> Love you. Oh, God. Okay. Someone uh, sent in a confession here at Smosh saying, best bathroom to cry in is the hallway all gender bathroom. <laughs> Fight me. Uh, we have multiple bathrooms here at Smosh, but uh, I know the one they're referring yep, to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's the um, one. I know exactly which wait, one it is. But wait, but closer or further? Uh, I think further, no, because the closer one is a women's bathroom, women. and the further one's an all gender. Yeah, that's the one to cry in. That's the one. The boys don't have one. 
See, sometimes I don't cry in there. Sometimes I watch full you. videos in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out here waiting on that bathroom. There are not that many uh, bathrooms. We have two other confessions here. Someone else said, I've cried in the hallway bathroom, not the one labeled women, 10 plus times. <laughs> 10 and, plus? And someone else said, I cry in the bathroom next to the all gender bathroom <laughs> in the hall. <laughs> what the hell? Unless this is one person who submitted this three times, I think a lot of people are crying in that bathroom. Uh, it's a depressive hallway is what I'm getting. <laughs> we, Guys, gotta, we gotta do wellness checks on those bathrooms. I don't know, <laughs> On the man. bathrooms, check on the people. Am I the asshole for not helping a mom on a plane who was mean to me? A few years ago, I was on an early morning flight back to LA. I had the window seat, but the window in my row was slightly ahead where half of it overlapped the seat in front of me, but was still mainly accessible to me. Sitting in front of me was a little boy in the window seat, maybe around preschool age, his mom in the middle seat and another woman in the aisle seat. During the flight, the sun got to a place where it shined through the window directly in my eyes. It was also reflecting off the wing of the plane, so it was extra bright. It was blinding me, even with my eyes shut, and it was only affecting me in my row. Like, think of the brightest light you can imagine that left a lingering visual impression in your eyes for a while. It was that, if not worse. I was trying to nap, so I closed the window blind, but almost immediately after I closed it, the mother in the middle seat ahead reached over her son and aggressively opened the window back up. I was thrown off because I thought it was technically my window since it was easier for me to reach. So I leaned ahead and politely said to her, hi, the sun is very bright, so I'd like to close the window. Mm -hmm. She snapped back, no, my son is looking out the window, so no. Oh. I looked and saw the son was playing games on an iPad and not even looking out the window. Oh. I then politely said, okay, but the sun is really too bright and it's shining right in my eyes. And she stepped back again, well, get a fucking blanket. I'm not closing the window. Oh. And she turned away. Now, I'm not a conf confrontational person, which is why I said nothing back to her and just covered my head with my my sweat jacket for the rest of the flight. I wasn't able to nap, and whenever I peeked out, I could see the kid was still playing with his iPad and not looking out the window at all. Am I the asshole? So, we have a multiple choice here between Marcus, okay. Kimmy, Josh, or Kiana. Which is tough because those yeah. are four really polite people. I was gonna say it's Spencer coded, and he's not even in I that. think if it was Spencer, he would have said before, the game the Before we playing. guess, are they the asshole? Uh, absolutely not. No. Um, oh. I, I don't even see where, I, I thought it was gonna lead to like, then later the mom needed help with baggage and this person was like, yeah. no. Fuck In which case you. I still would have been like, no, that mom no, is it. Uh, yeah, absolutely, they're not the asshole. They, I was gonna say communication, they did that, like they didn't even fight back. Absolutely not the asshole. The, the mom is clearly just trying to make her kid do something that he doesn't even wanna do. Yeah, that kid I, hates the outside. I and feel like it's Kimmy coded. You think it's Kimmy coded? Yeah. Interesting. Who would put a blank? Who would like cover up their eyes? There's like a sweat jacket. Sweat That's jacket. Why it's Marcus. Ooh, I think it's Marcus. This is the thing. Marcus, Kimmy, Josh, and Kiana, I think are all four people that if someone's someone's in the wrong, they're gonna just be like, oh, whatever. Like they, yeah. they're so nice. They're not gonna do like they're not gonna start a fight on a plane. hundred percent. And the answer is Josh. No! Yeah. Uh, update here. I've been bringing eye masks with me on planes ever since in case this happened again. <laughs> oh, Josh. oh, Josh is right here. Josh, I, know, Josh, I, I knew, knew that right that here. was your story. We're connected I feel like now. Was that the part of why I was the asshole? Did I? Because the question I wrote, I didn't help her. You left out the part of what I didn't help her with. Oh, there is more to it. Whoa. Uh, no. we, Should I just tell it? Josh, tell your story. Yeah, Josh, wait, I, I, we. Where? Somehow we're missing this part. So there was something with like baggage or something. So stand right here and hi. Josh. So what happened? Um, okay, so that all happened. Um, here. Yeah. Hey Shane. Hey. <laughs> um, that all happened, but then the part where I felt like was I being the asshole was at the end of the flight. Um, we were all getting up to like get our bags from the overhead department. And then the woman, or the mom was like starting to freak out, like looking through her bags, being like, I can't find it, I can't find it. And then the boy is like crying and stuff. 
Uh, and uh, the woman next to her is like, what's going on? She's like, I can't find this fucking toy. And the boy is like crying louder. Did you see and the toy? I looked down at my feet and the toy <laughs> rolled behind the seat and was like kind of going behind my seat. And you didn't give it? And I didn't give it back. <laughs> <laughs> because I was just thinking she made me sit through that flight with the bright light in my eyes. Uh, she, but then I was like getting off the plane and immediately I was like, I should have helped that kid. He was probably his favorite Aww. toy. But also that mom was really mean to me. <laughs> and I was like, that you, yeah, she got her comeuppance. Here's what I, I will say. Uh, regardless of if you're the asshole or not, I understand the mindset because when you're on a flight, you're like, I feel like you're... Yeah. Your moral compass goes down because you're just like fuck. <laughs> you're like every man for his fucking yeah. self. This it's is the survival. Hunger Games. On it's this time flight, to throw. Yeah. it's the Hunger Games. Your Who's baby dropped it? your toy. It's gone. Oh my Hopefully god. Not about crying and Wait, oh my god. Oh my god. Someone sent. Uh, so these are real confessions from our coworkers. Someone sent in. I don't brush my teeth. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a reaction. <laughs> Tim has a mask on, and that's that's suspect. Wait, what? <laughs> someone just wrote that with a period. Uh, just no, done? no period on that, but they just said I don't brush my teeth. Uh, I don't think it's anyone in this room. I think everyone in this room brushes their you teeth. You know what? It's giving Luke. Luke is right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh Luke! I didn't, I didn't see you behind this massive TV right here. Luke is offended. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, Luke, I, oh, I well. truly, I truly don't know who this is. Who um, would say something like this? I thought Luke. <laughs> um, okay. I will never know. Uh, oh, the next confession, the next confession. The men in this office need to learn how to put a toilet seat down. Okay. Absolutely, I would have submitted this one if I had thought of that. Yeah, seems less like a confession, more like a sermon. More like uh, you're preaching to the choir. Amen, amen, amen. Did one of you submit that? No. <laughs> but we're backing it up. And you know what? While you're at it, put the seat down. Also, put some deodorant on. Also, stop talking about video games. <laughs> we we have a channel called Smosh Games. I knew I should know high five the I'm roasting guys. the boys! I'm backing up the woman's alliance over here and you uh, Am I the asshole for telling a girl at Disneyland that everyone hated her? What? Hell yeah, dude. No, God no, dang! No, I am not behind them. Let's hear them out. When I was in college, I went to Disneyland with a group of friends. We waited a long time in line for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. When it came time to board the small boat, it was myself, my group of friends, and two women roughly my age, mid-twenties. An important detail is that Pirates is a dark ride, and they tell you not to use your phone during the ride. Well, near the beginning of the ride, one of the women in the front of the boat pulled out her phone and started browsing Instagram full brightness. I asked her politely to put her phone away. She shot me a look as if to say, are you kidding me, and went back to her phone. I then asked, if you're going to use your phone, can you at least lower the brightness? We are trying to enjoy the ride. She turned back and simply stated, no. Now, I wasn't in the greatest mood at this point, so I leaned into her and said, you know everyone on this ride fucking hates you right now, right? She turned back and said, what? So I said, I said it again, everyone on this ride fucking hates you. <laughs> She scoffed and turned back, continuing to browse Instagram. The rest of that ride was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever experienced. When the ride was over, some of my friends were happy I said something. Others said I ruined the ride by making it really uncomfy. So, was I the asshole? Were they the asshole? I don't think they were the asshole. No. That's fucking insane. You're, you, why'd you get on the ride? Clearly, yeah. She wasn't, she wasn't interested. I, it's so interesting reading the Smosh Reddit stories because it, obviously, like, people who are, who we know, like, yeah. the crew members that are submitting it, it's like, I would do something very similar. Obviously, I'm backing up the crew member in that case, and the other woman's the asshole. I don't know if I would have gotten to the point of being like, well, everybody fucking hates you. I'm, I'm not the type. But I'm kind but... of, like, happy that they did. Uh, Everyone yeah. fucking hates you is pretty... <laughs> That's pretty... intense, man. Is, and she still didn't even care. She still was like, and? She still and did went it. back to it. Okay. Yeah. Like she yeah. And it ended there. By it. Well, there is an argument. Here I am on the boat, and then I'm hearing you scream at your friend, and now I have to sit there in that tension. That ruins the ride for everybody. Right. Um, 
Yeah, what you could do uh, is is so you're on the pirate ride, right? Yeah. You're he's this person seated right behind her. I think is the way they're telling it. Uh, as soon as it comes to that part where it drops, you just go like you're just like you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like into her ear, just ah! and then and then back. And yeah. then you come back out. It's I was, like, I was also going to suggest also just a little, a little <laughs> kick as well and get that phone overboard. Yeah, oh, you want to try to, how do you, the pirate ride has like uh, hard plastic seats. And that so water is disgusting. Uh, all right, well, I'm not trying to Or get like the during, water. Little, during the drop, it's like, funk, and you like throw <laughs> it. It's a little like, whoa, and she's yeah. like, oh, and it goes overboard. Yeah. I, like I one time was on Pirates, and the boat in front of us, uh, someone was just taking nonstop flash photos of like the whole ride. Boo! And Boo. and um, and the, it started off, and it was like, Shiar, no flash photography <laughs> on the ride. Right. And then it was like, it was like, cool, they keep going. And this is like, no flash photography allowed <laughs> on the ride. I and then like, and then it keeps going, I'm keep dying. going. And then it finally gets to the point where it's like, it's like, no flash photography on the ride, please. <laughs> and then it goes, and everybody then, fucking hates no, you. And then, it, and then it got to the point where they, uh, they, they said that a couple times, and then he said it in Spanish, and then it stopped. And I was like, okay, like they, <laughs> they clearly didn't understand what they were saying, like, and, and like, but it was just, I loved the like this guy just being like, uh, please stop. Like the breakdown of pirate voice was so funny. <laughs> Because every single time he got a little less piratey and a little more hi. just SoCal, dude. Hi, 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 hi. Yar, please, no <laughs> photography, dude, okay. Lizzie, uh, who we know loves Disneyland. Okay. Aaron Dougal, who we know is an asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. Guys, we're dropping shit. Tommy farts, Aaron's an asshole. <laughs> Cue Tommy raging back This in. is the heat we're bringing on Friday. Come on! Yeah. We're already in the zone. Yeah. Uh, was it Andre, who's one of our editors here, uh, or was it Chance? You know Chance would do that. Would he? Chance would totally do that. He totally would. Chance would be like, you know everyone fucking hates you, right? No, he would just be like, okay. I, I think Chance might find something more devastating to say. Yeah, he wouldn't he wouldn't go that hard. That I think fast. I think he would say something that would linger with her for years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but something subtle that you wouldn't think is a mean yeah. thing to say, but yeah. he would know. Yeah. I'm gonna vote Andre. So the the chat's saying 42% Aaron, 38% Chance. Uh, and you said Andre? Yeah. Who'd you say? Oh God, I'm really trying to place these people in there. I. I think it is Chance. Okay. It is Andre. Ah! Okay. Hello. Hi, and this is Dale calling from the uh, from Fandango. <laughs> uh, you won. Yeah. <laughs> you won tickets. <laughs> To the next Chumbawamba concert. Ha uh, ha ha, you won. It is in Ireland, so we booked your plane tickets as well. Uh huh, oh you God. won. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm confused though, because you said Fandango, but Fandango does movies and not. Uh, uh, joke's on you, you fucking idiot. We're in the concert Wait, space now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're expanding. What? All right, well. Good luck, have fun, and you dress ugly. <laughs> Guys, I think he really bought it. Guys, I think he bought I it. I think he bought it. He was like I asking think, questions. I think he was like, okay, uh, I really bought, I got tickets. That's amazing. Okay, I feel like I have to apologize for multiple things. <laughs> Number one, you didn't invite me. I, I pushed myself on. At the beginning, I, before we do it, I go, I go. okay, do you want to you do it? And you go, no, you got this. And then, and then you just go, you, you won. won. The second you put on a voice, I went, that sounds so fun. And I wanted to do it. Well, it worked. And then I took the liberty of, like, fucking it up and no. then hanging up. I'm so sorry, I think you really sold it. I think Ian is genuinely looking forward to his yeah. concert. Uh, here's some here's some confessions. Angela uh -oh. almost convinced the company to join an MLM. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This was your app, right? <laughs> I, I think I think I remember this. I, I, it's not a confession app? if it's.
It's not from... That's my information, not theirs to share. <laughs> It affected the community at I, large. And you know what, Shane? Know the what deals were red hot. And you okay, know I knew it. I knew it. It was the app. The deals were red hot. <laughs> All right. If Angela doesn't want to tell the story, I'll confess it for her. Yeah. Is there more details on there? Uh, the, no, more, no more details of that one. Arasha was there for the whole thing. You don't want to share? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, had, we were filming. <laughs> we were about to go into a video, and Angela like runs up to me, and she's so excited. She's like, Arasha, download this app. Download this app right now. <laughs> And I was like, uh, what, what is the app? Like, tell me about it. And she's like, no, it's like, it's all these hot deals. <laughs> it was like, so many good she's like, deals. She's like, literally, you just get free money. <laughs> and I was like, that doesn't It's not... called Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's, like, it's red hot. Right. She's like, no, literally, you just invite people. And then every time you invite them, you get money, and they get money. And then you invite more people, and they get money. And I, 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 I think like, it was Kiana that was like, what shape does that make? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean, what shape does that make? And I was like, don't talk to me like I'm a toddler. What do you mean? And she goes, Angela, what shape did that make? I was like, a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> and what's another word for that? <laughs> uh, cone. Cone. <laughs> a point. Uh, a play button. Uh, um, yes. Oh my god. So the app has been completely wiped yeah. from this entire building. Yeah. I hope. Oh, uh, we have. Okay. Another one. Okay, so that one, Angela. That that was intense for you. Very brave. Here's our yes, next confession. I feel like Arasha, almost bought an NFT, like they at least started looking through a couple galleries at options, but never fully made the jump. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, what is this? These aren't confessions. <laughs> well, they're confessing how they feel about stuff. All they're, right. they're confessing that you give almost bought an NFT. <laughs> Who wrote this? I don't. It's giving Luke. <laughs> Luke, you want your revenge, huh? You want your revenge, Luke. Well, I didn't. Okay. Whoa. It's the truth. Who, can, do we get who? We don't know on these uh. ones. You guys can ponder. I'm going to find guys... out like a year later, like Luke's yeah. booty. Uh, all right, let's hop into another Reddit story. Yay! Let's Hell do yeah. it. All right, here we go. Am I the asshole for making a fair trade? We have a conference room here at Smosh with a computer setup that uses a wireless mouse. One day, I noticed that the mouse wasn't working and figured that it needed a new AA battery. I went into the supply cabinet and noticed that we stocked Energizer batteries. Not just the regular kind, but the ultimate lithium kind, the silver kind. I grabbed one and put that into the mouse. When I tell you that this mouse battery lasted for a whole two months before it needed to be replaced, I was floored. So I took the opportunity to borrow a few batteries. And by that, I mean the whole pack. <gasps> I had some stuff at home that needed new batteries. On my way home that day, I did feel bad, but before I let the guilt consume me, I got an idea. I went to the store and got a pack of the same amount of batteries, but instead of the Energizers, I got Rayovax. <laughs> They were like less than half the price. They were also kind of silver, so I figured nobody would notice. I got in the next day and put the Rayovax in the supply cabinet. No harm, no foul. Am I the asshole for swapping the batteries? I made sure there were batteries still available. That feels Whoa. illegal. I think, I think it is. I feel like, I think I remember Selena talking about this one day, how she's like, one day the batteries were changed. Dude. Wow. It's like me coming on the game stage, shaking all the fucking Xbox controllers, bringing like Mad Cats or some shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bring it off. Or like, you know, it's like, uh, dude, like you're, it's like, uh, that's how, that's crazy. To I me. wonder how, yeah. how big was the pack? How big uh, are that's, we talking? There's a lot know? of, lot of uh, possibilities here. So we're reading, okay, yeah, we're we reading to, these. Uh, well, we're are reading, they the asshole, first of all? Are they the asshole for swapping the batteries? Yes, that's crazy. It's, it is, I think it is that's technically a slippery stealing slope. company property. It is a slippery slope. But if it was like an eight pack or something, I'm like, okay, that's okay. That's but if it was like one of those like 24 packs or 36 packs or something, I would have been, I would have That's a little crazy, concerned. that's a little crazy to me. Oh. I ship several of our off-camera crew members together. Whoa! <laughs> like, are you on Whoa. AO3? Are you writing shit? <laughs> what is ship? What does shipping mean? Like, actively? I like, think, are you? I think because it's like shipping is like I ship them off together in a relationship. Mm. You know. Whoa. You know, that's a relation boat. A relation boat, guys. I boat these people. That's so crazy. Oh, I boat these people. I boat these people. Okay. Ooh, uh, now we got another story coming oh up. God. Oh my god. 
dude. Oh my god, you look like the the bar. You look like the barbarian character we made for Diablo. That was so sick. You look like you're halfway stepping into Men in Black. <laughs> dude, if the cho the chosen would the chosen probably knows of the Men in Black, but like is chill about it. Yeah. Like they probably asked him to join and he said no. Yeah, of course yeah, yeah. they do. That's why I wear sunglasses so that they're forget light doesn't work on I think me. It's a, I think it's a I think it's a I think it's a neuralizer. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, I heard a thousand tickets were sold, <gasps> which is why I've been summoned because that's how many stars I got in Mario 64. Whoa! Okay, calm down. All right, chosen. You yep. think you can read this Reddit story for us? Can you read with the glasses on? Yeah, I can. And your eyes closed. Am I the asshole for taking a nap at work? <laughs> oh. Hmm. My instincts say that yes, you are. Oh. Okay, so let me start off by saying I am not a nine to five girly. And I don't, <laughs> I don't work in a traditional office setting. I'm a freelance actor slash comedian hired by a company to okay, be on Angela. camera talent. <laughs> We shoot several different videos in a day, and in between videos we are not in, we are allowed a break to eat, chill, do whatever. So the office has a pseudo green room in the corner of the office where there's like couches, lounge chairs, bistro <laughs> tables, and cool lamps slash lights. And cool lamps. I had a pretty extended break between videos, four hours, so I figured I'd take a nap on the couch in the green room. I had my shoes on, but hanging off the couch, still fully clothed, <laughs> just laying down on the couch. The overhead fluorescent lights were really bright and annoying, and so I decided to turn them off, but it was still very much lit because the lamps and cool neon sign. It was just <laughs> much more bearable and peaceful. That did not affect the rest of the office lights, and many of the people with private office rooms have their own lamps as well because of the incessant overhead lighting. Yeah. Well, the new office manager walks over oh. to the green room and peers inside. She sees me laying down, and I look at her. We make eyes like extended eye contact, and I'm thinking, oh, am I supposed to be in a video right now or something? <laughs> nope. After several full seconds of full will I am level stare down, she looks at the light switch, walks over to it, and like fucking Nosferatu, flips the <laughs> overhead lights on. <laughs> then ma she makes eyes with me again. I kid you not, she spins around like one of those ballerina fairy toys and struts away. I am sounds sitting, like something she would do. I am sitting on the couch, jaw agape, as I hear the click clack of her Ross dress for less ass heels <laughs> walking away. Oh. Walking oh. away like I've committed a carnal sin because I decided to rest after being drained for content. <laughs> Dude, we're out here milking them for content. Oh my god. Thinking, thinking she's Angela fucking Bassett. Like the call time is 8 a.m., I'm tired, and that week had five 12 hour shoot days in addition to nightly rehearsals that go from eight to 10. I should be allowed to nap in the green room on break without the fluorescent lights. Am I the asshole? Whoa, I mean, you just said, am I the asshole, and then described someone else doing something, and then... Were they the asshole for, for napping in the first for place? For napping. Mm. Were they caught lacking, as some people might say? Look, I know we used to have a strict anti-nap policy. I don't know if they In previous eras. In previous yeah. eras, I don't know if that's if that's loosened up mm. at all. I love napping. I was, I was just thinking today, I haven't napped in days. <laughs> I don't even know if I napped on Sunday. Buddy. I know. Um, I so, nap. so I love napping, and you know, I I think I know this is. I, I think I can. I don't want to speak out of turn. I think this might have been one of our freelance cast members. <laughs> I mean, they did uh, call themselves a freelance comedian yeah, actor. Um, so perhaps they are not an asshole, but four hours is time that could be used for all sorts of things. How long was the nap though? I'm saying like a thirty minute. A kippa? Yeah, I feel like they nor like the longest I've seen people dip away to nap or chill in the green room is like two hours tops. Uh, and then they get bored. And then they get bored and come back and because they need yeah. enrichment. <laughs> <laughs> I think this person is simply wasting their time. <gasps> what could they? Be, what, what, what would they be doing? Push-ups. <laughs> True. Four hours of push-ups. Imagine. Of push Imagine how What's strong you could What's the most push-ups you've ever done, Chosen? Oh, God. I mean, I, I, I get bored. Yeah. <laughs> I reach a point and I'm like, I could keep going, but 
What do you do when you get bored? What do you what do you do to I, go not be bored? The problem is I'll like watch anime while I'm doing it, but I watched all of One Piece while I was doing push ups. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on times four speed? Anyways, in fact, it's talking about that has me thinking I should go do some push ups, so Wait, 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 Chosen, before you leave, can I have you read something? No. Yes. Just the quote. I'm collecting horcruxes. I'm collecting infinity stones. Gandalf's voice is in my head every ta time I put out a new one. For me, it is a movie now. Oh. I do say that all the time. That was awesome. That was, that, that, was, okay, that, was awesome. that was said by another chosen. <laughs> oh, in Time Magazine's So Taylor Swift, article. for a little context for y'all at home, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift said that about re-recording her old albums. Wow. wow. I just think it's the craziest quote ever. And I wanted your chosen say it. Am I the asshole for making a game out of an official company meeting? A couple <laughs> A couple years ago at Smosh, we used to have company all hands meetings. But for a while they started to become uh, for a while they started to become a little predictable and I created a Smosh All Hands Bingo mm -hmm. game with the post department, AKA Cave Kids, because we used to work in the dark together. We put some guesses on the cards into a bingo card generator and had them open during the meeting. This was the beginning of the pandemic, so these meetings were all video calls. We put things on the cards like Sarah's cat on the camera, someone is using a goofy filter, mental health mention, Spencer has his camera off, Ian jokes about flood, Someone talking while muted. Someone messages in chat instead of speaking. Someone asks everyone to mute themselves. We did a pretty good job and eventually got bingo pretty fast. I called bingo on the mic during the meeting. <gasps> oh. Okay, because of that I know, because I was, uh, yeah, because I, I participated in the bingo. Yeah. The I, helped, I helped create the bingo. You I think I was sent it? the bingo sheet just to like see, but I was too scared to play along. It was <laughs> it was painfully funny. Uh, am I the asshole for making a game out of a serious meeting? Uh, so a lot of us know who uh, OP is, Spencer and Kiana for sure. Uh, <laughs> Spencer, do you want to reveal, or wait, first, are they the asshole? Um, I don't think so, I, I remember that I time. Get, I get how I see both sides, unfortunately. <laughs> It was really funny. <laughs> uh, and you know, it just became, it was so predictable. Like it was truly like, okay, like blah, blah, blah. It was just so like by the books, it felt so like. I will say in that time, uh, the all hands meetings, like I understand we ha we kind of had to have them just to kind of keep the flow of things going. But like every week it was gonna be like, all right, and um, we're all gonna be inside and uh, we'll just keep on doing what we're doing. It was like, it was like pulling teeth a little. It really, there yeah. was nothing to say. Um, and then it, people would just do bits. Yeah. And you had to sit there, and that's why I had my camera off, because I didn't want to have to, I didn't want to fake laugh. The only reason yeah. I kind of, I almost feel like we only almost only had them then, and I liked them, just because it was the only time we all just like saw each other. Yeah. So, yeah. but I, I thought the bingo was funny when I heard it happened. Uh, who was it? Are you revealing? You can say. It was it was definitely Britney. This is definitely Britney. Oh. But it was me, like Britney, Tommy, Duran. Hell yeah. Aww. Was, yeah, yeah. Kiana. Baby was was Big Rig there at the time? Kevin Rig? Oh Kevin. Yeah. Um wow, so a lot of people in on this. Um we got an update. Ever since this bingo game, <laughs> the all hands meetings have actually been useful with real company updates. A bingo game would be a bit more challenging now, but not impossible. <laughs> no, I, no, I remember like, cause it was like, hey, like you guys can't do that anymore. But then like, you definitely saw like a pivot, like, you know. Yeah. That's so funny, they, they realized Cause it was BS. like, hey, like we can't just like, you know, there's our words, yeah. Uh, yeah someone, someone else said, I don't think the people saying bussy all the time actually know what a bussy is. Probably facts, yeah. Um, facts. Someone else confessed, and these are all confessions from people that we know here at Smosh. Someone else said, I puked in the bathroom at the holiday party. Cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. Uh, all right. Wait, hold on. I think we unlocked another one. Wait, Did we unlock another, another one? one? Nice. Teacher, I know what a bussy is. Okay. Just saying, that, like felt very, that felt very, that felt very apt. In front of everybody, would you like to tell everyone what it is? Oh my God. No. Someone else <laughs> sent in a confession saying, I have a private TikTok to post thirst traps. What? Who? 
Who is that? <laughs> Who? What's their at? Who? What's their at? But you're, Dude, when I find like out someone faceless? has a Finsta, I'm like. Well, are they faceless thirst traps? Yeah. They're gonna be seen. Yeah. It's private. It's pro oh, private. Oh, it's private. So it's just for them. Maybe. Just for them know. to rewatch. Okay. We have hey, some questions. respect. Respect. All right. Here we go. Today I fucked up by deleting my TikTok account because I didn't know how to undo a repost. <laughs> oh no. So one Saturday night after some partying, I was mindlessly scrolling on my TikTok for you page, like you do, when suddenly a strange video appeared on my for you page. I was utterly shocked that one, this kind of video existed on TikTok and that two, it had crossed my for you page. So in my post party curiosity, I decided to click on the username, except I didn't. I clicked on the repost button. The video in question, a man moaning suggestively to a trending TikTok song. I immediately tried to undo the repost, but at 1 a.m. I simply couldn't figure out how. <laughs> I petrified that this video would show up on my followers for you page with my dumb little name next to repost. <laughs> I panicked. Post party panicked. In the heat of the moment, I did what any normal person would do. Straight up deleted my account. Oh. torched the thing. So now I don't have a TikTok account, which makes watching videos my friends send me impossible. And I'm mad because I have so many meal prep recipes saved to that account. I've barely told anyone except two of my closest friends. One suggested I try to recover it. The other one said I should just start fresh. TikTok does allow you to recover a deleted account for up to 30 days. But I'm terrified that as soon as I activate my account again, that moaning video will pop up on my followers for you page and I'll be canceled or worse, ridiculed. Expelled. Online. Expelled. Or worse, expelled. <laughs> okay, whoever this is. So wait, wait, this uh, person has self-respect so that narrows it down a lot. <laughs> If we reposted like someone gooning or whatever, like it'd be like, dude, oh. accidentally, I accidentally shared this this video, and everyone'd be like, oh, that was funny. Oh my god. We have plenty of people here who can help that person fix that. We got Tim. Dude, I, I did. Dude, what if that. it is Tim? <laughs> what if it's Tim? I did uh, have that happen to me before. I accidentally reposted something, and it took me. I panicked for a little bit, but then I figured out how to redo it. What well, would you would you share? It was like one of those like straight TikTok comedy oh. videos where it's just like cringe. Oh, that, yeah, that's that's worse than anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The answer is Emily. Yeah. Wow. Drop the video! No. Drop the video! Drop the video! I, will, I can help you fix it. What was, uh, he, what was he moaning to? Oh, uh, we have an update. <laughs> okay, update. Uh, Emily update. updated it for us. Well, it happened. I got the account back. I looked up a video on how to undo the repost, and at 3 a.m., oh. I logged on, activated my account again, went to the mysterious man moaning audio video, God forgive me, and undid, undid my sin. <laughs> However, when I was undoing the repost, I couldn't help but notice the comments. See, when you repost a video on TikTok, username reposted this video shows up in the comments. So there were several comments making fun of me for reposting the video to my account. I.e., what fucking loser reposted this to their personal <laughs> account? Hello? If I wasn't already mortified, being made fun of online for my dumb fucking mistake was the icing on the cake. But as of now, I have my account back. There is no embarrassing audio uh, uh, attached to it, and I am never, ever post party scrolling ever again. Emily, we are going to teach you here how to lose all self respect. Yeah. <laughs> so don't, you, we, don't worry. we guarantee no. you will lose. Don't worry. Somebody better wife Shane up for real. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, that was the thirstiest confession I've ever heard in my life. That wasn't Dude. me. That's that wasn't me, dude. That's from here? That. That's from here. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, you can be cooking. Okay, some context for this next confession. Allie is our CEO. Oh. Uh oh, she's oh. in charge. It's just not about and her at someone all. And <laughs> someone said, someone said, Ali cut in line in front of me for the bathroom. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. oh, she had too many recesses. That um, day. Nice. Someone else said, every day during the summer, it's so hot in the office, I go to the bathroom and put paper towels under my shirt in my armpits, but they'll fill up with sweat so fast, they'll fall out throughout the day, and I won't notice until I'm home that they're lost. That's Tommy. <laughs> that is so Tommy. I'm dying to know who this is. No That's idea. gotta be Tommy. Yes. Yeah, Someone's gotta be 
are so busy that they don't notice that those things are falling out of their shirt. That's definitely time. I've also never been aware of like the heat in the summer. Oh great, the CEO has walked into the room <laughs> oh, no. for oh, this shit. confession. Oh no. She cut me a line in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Wait, Allie, that was a confession. What happened? Someone confessed that you cut them in line in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Allie has been informed that she cut someone in line. CEO mindset. <laughs> CEO mindset. Exactly. And who and was, who it? was we, we don't know. know. We don't know. It's anonymous. Oh, uh, speaking with that person. Guys, <laughs> here is our final confession. Okay. Near the end of the Defy era, I heard an employee having sex with their partner in the office next to me after hours. They did it on the beanbag people would always sit in. Gross. The beanbag was thrown out after that. This employee does not work at Smosh anymore, and please, no one try to find out who. I will say I haven't Whoa. added detail. It was not their partner. Oh! Out of detail, they didn't throw out that bean bag. <laughs> did they? I they did not I was throw out that. Say, they didn't. I know no, they did bean not bag. throw out that bean no, bag because it was bean not at the very end of, of Defy. That bean bag is in blogs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys, this was real. This, this was is, real. No, this is real because I I heard about this. I actually knew about this as well. That is wow. crazy, and that is crazy. That you did you not know that part? Um, oh. No, I technically did. I didn't know that. Oh. Well, but now I, you know. <laughs> <laughs>